Okay, we could have some fun and games here. We've got some ground hornbills. Big birds that just walk across the plains looking for insects and food. And they are right on path to where our cheetah cubs are. Mum's taking completely not a bit of notice. To her, it's not prey. To the cubs, it's just a lot of fun, perhaps. Look, the one cub's gone completely flat down on the ground. And all of this is great practice for the cubs. What is prey? What isn't prey? What can you eat? What can't you eat? And in this case, what can fly and what can't? This one little cub that's exposed out there in the open that actually began to stalk out there. Oh. <laughs> I was just going to say, isn't quite sure what to do. And in that instance, it was like, my goodness, I have never seen anything like this before. Turns and runs away. Let's go back to where mum is. <laughs> look quite menacing. These big black objects with those long downturned bills. What are they? And they don't seem to be in the slightest bit phased, but I suppose you wouldn't be when you know you can just launch off up into the sky when you want to escape. I tell you what, I think while she's Pretty relaxed, doesn't seem to be wanting to do anything. Quite happy on that termite mound. I'm going to go and do a little bit of sketching. And I'm hoping she's going to hold her position, but I mean, the beauty about sketching is that you can start one and then stop it. This is my scrapbook. My son helped put this together. It's got all our identification photographs in it. Now here, in fact, this is Kike's mum, Queen, the drivers used to call her, or Amber, which is what we knew her as. And then, Look, December last year, that's what these three little nine-month-old cubs look like. Can you imagine? Eyes aren't even open. These tiny little cubs, these are these beautiful nine-month-old cubs that we're now watching when they were less than a week old. Oh, here we go. It's a spare page. Oh, let's try this cub over here. Shape. I think the thing with drawing is you're forced to really concentrate on your subject. So you begin to see it in a completely different way. I mean, you notice elements of the, of the anatomy of the creature, of the texture of the fur. It's a sort of discipline. It's a, it's a lesson in looking, really. <laughs> 